received those penalties, and he's able to knock that one away. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. DJ Reader with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains. Okay, how about a guy who was a two time walk on? who later became a two-time Big 12 Player of the Year, has the most touchdown passes in Big 12 history with 129, a Heisman Trophy into his credit, and took his team to the college football playoff semifinal twice while in Oklahoma. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, and maybe turn the tide. On second down, Cousins again. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. That takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. It's a loss of five, and it brings up third down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. The Clemson product, D.J. Reader, got in for the sack. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Now here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. He's got it complete to Gronkowski. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Rob Gronkowski, 66 yards, as his guys are on the board first here tonight. Well, the game had been pretty uneventful offensively until that big strike. No doubt about it. Almost felt like they were just going back and forth a little bit in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, things ramped up a little. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go along. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. DJ Reader able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. A first down throw for Cousins. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Nambi Asimov. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. So far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. Pressure comes, and down he goes. Bud Dupree, his second sack of the night. A loss of 14 on the play. It's second down. Former Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield. His guys have a two-touchdown lead as we hand it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back. That's a good start for him. Play fake, Mayfield. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. 
And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 21 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Brings up second and goal. Oh, look at this, a tight end carry. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. Turning ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It was Bud Dupree fighting through and making the tackle. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. The Colts take over first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They'll run on first down. Walker. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. 25 yards. And thanks to the interception, the Colts offense cashes in with six. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that they're... And the third interception thrown by Cousins. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a coach TD. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch. Cousins now. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Here we go. Here we go. Here's Cousins. 
the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy. Four about in three, a game. Yeah, about the four. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will... They'll throw again. Cousins. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And guys, you look up at the score. It's first and 10 from the 10. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one, and that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory.